This is Eva for Once Upon a Timeline, and today we're going to discuss a new type of DNA that was just discovered. So this, uh, this information comes from a retcon post by Novo Sod, new form of DNA just discovered inside human cells. Clicking on it. Okay, so this is interesting. They are saying that there is a whole new structure of DNA that is like a tangled knot of DNA instead of the double helix shape. So they don't know what this does, but they found it in humans and they are calling them eye motifs right here. They think that it, they have to do with uh, turning on and off other sections of DNA. One thing that's interesting is that these uh, eye motifs apparently appear and disappear. They're transient. This article actually has a little more info. One thing that was really interesting about this uh, LA Times article is it says, indeed, scientists have long known about other shapes that DNA can fold into in the lab, including ones that resemble cruciforms and hair pins. Cruciforms are like a shape of a cross. So uh, long been known. I, I never studied that or learned that, and I did study quite a bit about the DNA structure. So I, it wasn't known for me. Um, anyways, I can't prove this is a Mandela. I mean, you could say that it's new, and I don't know exactly when they studied these uh, new forms of DNA. However, I think it's really interesting that the uh, DNA structure keeps changing. So what they're saying is that uh, parts of your DNA double helix sometimes unwrap and form this ball shape called an eye motif. And here is a um, kind of a depiction of it here. Not just any piece of DNA can fold itself into the eye motif. There must be specific sequence of letters that includes several cytosines, which are written as C's in the genetic code. Back in the early 1990s, French scientists played around the laboratory, discovered that cytosine-rich regions of DNA could fold on top of itself. But what they didn't realize was they thought it was only in the lab. They didn't think it could do it in actual living cells. So uh, that's the storyline anyway. So supposedly recently they checked in live human cells and found a bunch of these eye motifs in there as well. Um, so I guess you have to have a lot of cytosine, and then the cytosine... Um, bonds with other cytosine, which is unusual. Well, it's not how it used to work. So, uh, C bonding with C's, uh, that's a new, that's a new deal. Let's see. Eye motives are what scientists call dynamic. They can fold and unfold depending on the acidity of their surroundings. And another factor supposedly is crowdedness. So if it's not super acidic, but it's crowded, then they can also bundle up into these eye motifs. Uh, so they're saying they're not sure if uh, these control under or over expression in a nearby gene, but they think that that might be what these eye motifs are in charge of. But of course, more work would need to be done. And now that researchers know that these strange four-stranded structures do frequently occur in human DNA, they are ready to find out more. This opens up a whole new line of science. Anyway, so DNA is changing. This is Eva signing off for Once Upon a Timeline.